Well, let's look at the solution for problem number 21 on the week four practice problems. Uh, we have a solution of ammonia and ammonium chloride, um, or two solutions of those two things, and we're mixing them together, and we want to know what the pH is going to be once we do that. Well, something that we can see right off the bat is that we have a source of NH3 and a source of NH4+, plus. that would be the ammonium chloride, NH4Cl. And these two things are a conjugate pair. Now, anytime that you have a conjugate pair in solution, you're going to form a buffer solution, and they are going to be in equilibrium with each other uh, in, the, uh, in the solution. So we can write that equilibrium. We're going to have NH3. We're going to write this as a KB reaction since we were given a KB for NH3. So NH3 plus H2O goes to NH4 plus plus OH minus. Now to find the pH, we can use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation here, and we can say the pOH, since we're using the KB, we're going to say pOH is equal to pKB plus the log of the product, concentration of NH4 plus, over concentration of the acid-base reactant, NH3. Now, uh, we have the value of the KB given in the problem, so we can find the pKB. And we are given concentrations of NH4 plus and concentration of NH3. However, the one thing that we have to take into account is the fact that we mixed two solutions together, and so we do have a dilution effect. And so the concentration of NH4 plus is going to be different after we mix the solutions, as is the concentration of NH3. So we have to calculate the new concentrations of NH4 plus and NH3 in the new solution that's been mixed together. And to do that, we're going to use the dilution equation M1 V1 is equal to M2 V2, where M1 is the original molarity, V1 is the original volume, M2 is the new molarity, and V2 is the new volume. And we know all of those things except for M2, so that's what we're going to solve for. So for the NH4, pick a fun color here, we'll do it in green. Uh, for the NH4, our M1 was equal to 0 0.15. My original volume was 250 milliliters, and I can use milliliters here. You can use liters too, it'll give you the same answer. I don't know my new molarity. My new volume is 350 milliliters since I took 250 milliliters of NH4 and 100 milliliters of NH3. So I now have 350 milliliters of solution. So when I do this, my M2 for NH4 is equal to 0 0.107 molar. So that's the value that will go in there. For the NH3, I forgot my little plus there. For NH3, my original concentration was 0 0.20. I had 100 milliliters of it. Again, I don't know its new concentration. And my new volume is also 350, since it's in the same solution as the NH4 plus with 350 milliliters total solution. So when we solve for the M2 for NH3, I get 5.0. 71 times 10 to the minus 2 molar, and this is the value that will go in there. Okay, so now we can plug everything into our Henderson Hasselbalch equation. So my pOH is going to be equal to the pKB, which is a negative log 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 plus log of my ammonium concentration, 0 0.107, over my ammonia concentration, 5.71 times 10 to the minus 2. And so we get a pOH that becomes equal to 4.74 plus the log of 1.8. 
and 5. And when we calculate that out, we get a value of 5.02 for my pOH. Now, the problem didn't ask for pOH. It asked for pH. And so uh, we do have to recognize that for a conjugate pair, pH plus pOH is equal to 14. And so, or for any solution, those two things are equal to 14. So I can write my pH is equal to 14 minus 5.02, which gives me 8.98. So again, uh, the, probably the hardest part on this is, is uh, finding um, the, and it's got a few hard parts, is writing the equilibrium expression, uh, realizing that you have to use uh, a pKb with a, uh, a pOH henderson hasselbalch equation, and then finding the new concentrations with the dilutions. By themselves, each of those things isn't too bad, but combining all three does, this, does make this problem a little bit of a challenge. If you run into any problems after watching the solution here and you have questions, uh, please let me know.